Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So in this video, we're gonna be doing Act 8. We're in Chapter 2, and this is the final quest. So this particular video is a little bit long because it also includes the boss fight. All right, and that fight was long. It was my first time going up against him. Uh, it was a lot of fun, all right, but it was long. So normally in these videos, I choose the easiest path for completion. Well, there's a slight deviation in this particular one. Normally, the easy path is the easiest path. I know that sounds a little bit confusing, but let me explain. So these are the active buffs for this path. This path is not the easiest path that you can take. There are paths that are much easier than this one. This one is not difficult, but it's also not the easiest. Why did I choose this path? Because on the boss, they have what's called trap nodes. These trap nodes are inactive unless you trigger them by taking a particular path. So if you take a particular path, one of those nodes triggers and becomes active on the boss. All right. And these um, nodes are not fun. They're not favorable to you. OK, so they make the fight harder for the boss. So in order to have the easiest time with the boss, you don't want to trigger any trap nodes. And that's this path here. This is the only path that you can take that doesn't trigger any of those trap nodes so that when you fight the boss, you have no nodes to worry about. You can just do the boss. So that's gonna be the easiest boss fight, okay? The other nodes, with, with a couple of exceptions are more difficult, okay? And I'll talk about that uh, a little bit later. So this particular path, like I said, it's not the easiest path, but here's how you want to do it. It takes a little bit of patience. Not my strong point when I'm fighting, but it does take patience. So what you have to watch for is your opponent dashing backwards. Anytime he dashes backwards, do not attack him. You're going to get faltered. While you are faltered, if you attack and do damage, it's going to get reflected back to you. So you do not want to do that. All right. So you'll notice anytime I have falter on me and you see how I was just holding my block because I was baiting him. I didn't want to uh, have him dash backwards. Okay. So whoever you decide to use, and I would recommend skill champions because they get a bonus on this path. And if you have a Nick Fury, he's going to wreck it. But you can see the team that I went in here with, okay? And a couple of them are great for the boss as well. Um, but this path is not bad. It's just annoying because you have to play patiently, slowly, I like to fight fast and aggressive, okay? I do have the recoil, well, no, I don't have the recoil masteries. Did I put them on? No, I took them off for the boss, but I have them on for the path. Uh, and you'll see that later. And the reason is that I was placing my defense for Alliance War, and so I timed it. So I cleared the path with them on, then I had to place defense, which we don't place with the recoil masteries on. So I took those off, placed my defense, and then did the boss. And then turned my recoil masteries back on. Uh, the boss is easier to deal with without the recoil masteries. However, other than this particular one, I did all of the other boss fights with them on. So it's definitely possible but just bear in mind, you will use more resources. There were many times that had I not had them on, I would have saved some revives. I wasn't really about saving revives. And so, you know, me being stubborn. Anyway, uh, so that's what you're seeing 
uh, the strategy for this entire path. The, the defenders are not that difficult. Okay, and you can see how well my Nick Fury is doing. You know, I made a mistake uh, earlier, but he still uh, came through. Uh, Invisible Woman can be very annoying, but Nick is great. You just have to know how to fight her. You know, watch for that in invisibility. Okay, you gotta hit that, get rid of it. And while she's bleeding, it shortens the length of the invisibility. And so Nick Fury is great for that. So you'll notice that I pause a lot. And every time I'm pausing, it's because I have that falter. See, she dashed back, now I'm faltered. So I can't attack her until the falter is gone. Like I said, it's really annoying, you know? So they'll dash backwards and then come at me and I can't retaliate or else I'm gonna destroy myself, right? So you just have to play it kind of careful you know play it slow watch and see like here i'm not faltered so i can go in okay so not difficult but annoying for me because i had to fight in a way that was not my normal way of fighting okay just have to fight a little bit slower that's all and and uh watch for that falter um let me see i i think it was yeah who did I, who did I, um, yeah, this one, um, Venom the Duck was the, uh, next one in the path, and nothing really different about this, um, like I said, not very difficult, with Venom the Duck, I like to bait his special one, and I just find his special one much easier, and you see how much he's backing off, and you see how I stopped, and just let him hit into my block so he would not dash backwards and I could just go in, okay, after his attack. But, you know, it, it can be annoying. See, there we go. I'm not faulted, so I can go in. And notice that I'm gaining a lot of uh, Furies. So I'm hitting really hard anyway because I'm in the second life. Then I got these Furies, and it's beautiful, see? Um, so you just have to watch for that falter. Bait out the heavies and the specials, and you're good. You know, don't try to intercept a whole lot because if they dash back and then come at you and you intercept, you're going to get that damage back. So, as you can see here, uh, Nick Fury is just tearing it up. Look at this. Poop. <laughs> I love that little uh, at the end. They're like, oh, yeah, I got the 1%. Yeah, it didn't help you. Um, so I didn't find this path, uh, particularly difficult, but I did want to explain to you guys, um, why I chose this path, even though it wasn't the easiest path, it is, in my opinion, the easy path for completion. So, and that's because of the trap nodes. Every other video, the easy path is the easiest path. In this one... There are paths that are much easier, um, but they have a trap node, and so they make the boss harder. Um, and once we get done with this path, I have something to tell you guys. Uh, there is a particular path that if you have a certain champion, or there's a couple of champions that you can use, um, that's going to be your easiest time, actually. So at the time of this recording, I have already fully explored and I'm done with 8.2, okay? I did it live. So if you want to go through my live streams, I have them all. Um, I should put them in, uh, by the time you see this, they'll be in a, a playlist for the Act 8 uh, content. And you'll be able to see how I handled the boss each and every time. And you're gonna watch one time I laughed through the boss and you'll see how easy it was. I learned that. Um, but of course not for this one. Uh, but that one had a node, but it was a node that you could cheese basically uh, with the right uh, champions. 
All right, so we've got, I think, one more fight. And, and look, Nick Fury, he's been holding on to that life, okay? Look at this. Now, this, I believe, is the final um, the final fight on the path. And so I was just like, well, may as well bring Nick Fury. This fight is probably going to be your most annoying. If you know how to fight Tigra, you'll be okay. But she is so annoying. Okay, so here we go. I knew I was going to do some damage to her. All right, see, I couldn't even punish that uh, because of that, the, the node. All right, and all this hitting into my block does damage. Okay, but look at this. Boom, caught me. And that happens. I dashed back uh, a little bit too quickly, and she was already on me. That's what happens sometimes. Now, I have evaded. Her specials, even on the wall. But sometimes they catch me. So I'm like, all right. Nick did his thing, okay? Now we just need to take her out. And uh, like I said, she is going to be your more annoying one. And see, look at that. Now, I was a little surprised at that one. Because, look at this. See? The reason that that happened is the node. Do not do that. So I I was sitting here like, wait, what just happened? She was faltered. And remember what I, I mean, I was faltered. And remember what I said, you start doing damage, you're going to get that damage back. So that's what you saw. I was getting the damage back. Okay. So yeah, bad, bad uh, decision there. All right. So you can see here, I'm just backing up, backing up. Okay. Hit the parry. Um, waiting out that falter. All right. Another heavy attack. I said parry before, but it was a heavy attack. All right. And boom. But I was faltered. Okay. So here. Wait. Bam. All right. Now I'm ready to go. Now let's do it. Okay. Now we ain't worried about nothing. Just get that damage in. Bam, ba bam, bam, bam. Boom. And she's down. Okay. So, um, one of the reasons that I went in with Elsa, don't use Elsa against the boss. Uh, I've heard she's not good for the boss. And that's why I was like, well, I might as well use Elsa now because I'm not going to be using her for the boss. All right. So, here we go. Finally. Now, this fight, and I'm not going to be here with you for the entire fight because it was a pretty long fight. And you don't have to watch the whole thing, but you can. And I will explain the fight as best I can. All right. Um, but this particular boss has no nodes on him. So it's just a regular vanilla fight. And that's why we took that path. Now, the node that I'm talking about is the one that gives him regeneration. Okay? So, how you can cheese this. There are two champions that I know of. Scorpion and Doc Ock. Now, if you want, go look at my live stream and find when I used Doc, I mean, not Doc Ock, uh, when I use Scorpion. And you'll see what I mean. Basically, Scorpion has the ability to not only block the healing, but to get the healing himself that they would have normally healed. A percentage of it. And that's a big percentage, all right? You see here, these are the trap nodes that I was talking about earlier. Okay, those are all the nodes. They're all inactive right now. Okay, um, but one of them, I forgot which one it's called, uh, but one of them is the one where he's going to heal up. And if you use Scorpion, you can hit him with an SP2. And let me tell you, it was fun. It makes Scorpion virtually unkillable. You know, obviously you can still uh, die, but it's very, very forgiving 
You know, if you watch the fight, there were times I made mistakes, uh, went all the way down, and then healed all the way back up to full. Okay? It was beautiful. All right. So, anyway, this fight, it has multiple phases to it. All right? The first phase, and there are other videos that will explain uh, each of the phases uh, to you uh, probably better than I will. But um, the main thing that you need to do is to break his armor. Okay? While he has that armor up, he is not going to be taking any damage. All right? So... To break the armor, uh, you have these charges. He has to get three of these charges, then fire his special, and then fire, fire, um, fire a blast. Okay? And you can tell the blast because it is green. He also does a red blast later. You don't want to do anything with that. Okay. So... I got to the charges and you saw that I fired my special into that blast. You know, um, it, it, it's hard to explain. It's better for you to watch and see what's going on. Um, that's what I found, that it was much easier for me to do that. Okay, see his armor is broken right now, but I didn't have enough health left. I told you, you know, you got to be careful because he's he's given a lot of damage. All right. He's he's doing a lot of damage. And if you mess up now, Kingpin is one of the best options for this boss. So is Shong Chi. That my my um, MVPs. However, I just needed to learn how to fight with her a little bit better. But Valkyrie is also very good. Just not in my hands. All right. But anyway. So, in, I think, the first phase, you wait for him to get the blast. And, and this is going to be something you're going to be doing through multiple phases, like the first three phases. Okay? Um, you want to build up three. And building them up, you have a couple of ways that you can build these charges up. You're going to stay close to him. You see how it's... Um, you have a timer, okay? If you're close to him when the timer runs out, then you will gain one. If you're far away from him, you're going to gain one of those red ones. Those are bad. You don't want those, okay? Also, if you shrug off debuffs, you'll gain some. Shang chi is awesome because you can do a medium, light, medium, heavy, and you've got your charges, Okay? Um, otherwise, you need to play, and like I said, it, it takes a little bit. Now, this is my first time fighting him, so I'm still learning at this point. All right, so right here, you see I have the three. He's going to fire the blast. Bang. All right, I fired my special into his blast, and he has his armor broken. So now you see I'm doing some damage, okay? And I can do damage all the way. It's paused when you fire off your special three. All right. So you want to fire that special three if you have it. Um, especially if you have somebody that does a, a really strong special three. Okay. So you can see she's doing it just fine. Okay. Um, she's, she's rocking. And, and I want to go back in. This is how much fun I had with this fight. I want to go back in and fight using her uh, against him. All right, now you see there, he didn't fire the blast because we didn't have those three, I think they're volatile uh, charges. I think that's what they're called. Okay, so you see how I stayed next to him that time? See, I was learning and I got much better at it. All right, it's about to wear out right here. See, I paused, I, I parried him and I just stood there. So now I have the charges and boom. Fired my special into the uh, blast. And now what I need to do, because I believe we went to, I think we went to the next phase. Um, the next phase, you still have to break the armor, but after you, and you'll know this 
by the green charge that you see on the left there. Okay, when you have that green charge, that's when you're ready to armor break him. If you don't have that green charge, you're going to have to do something. Okay, just remember that. You have to do something. And um, hitting, uh, firing your special into the uh, blast, you get that charge. Next, and this is something that I constantly forgot, you got to knock him down. Um, I believe that was in, oh boy, I think that's in the, the third phase. Hold on. While this is going on, let me, because uh, I, I don't want to lead you guys wrong. Uh, KT1 had a great little uh, cheat, se uh, cheat sheet. And that's definitely something that you'll want to have up there. Uh, let me uh, just go over here so that I can grab it. All right, so easy. Phase one, you do a special into the blast and then you have to knock them down at any time, okay? Phase two, you fire your special into the blast and then the next time you do a parry or a heavy into the blast. The heavy, parry, whichever one you are most comfortable with. Phase three, you're gonna do the same thing as phase two, you know, um, special into the blast to get those charges, the ones that I was talking about, the green ones. And then you're going to do a parry or a heavy. However, in phase three, you have to be careful. That's where you may get an orange blast. You want to avoid those, okay? And it's just RNG. So you'll basically be doing that, hoping that he fires off the green blast so that you can do a parry or a heavy into it and break the armor. Um, and then the final phase, you stay with that green um, charge and that's where uh, you build up his charges and when he fires, he's gonna fire either a, a red or orange or a green one. You want to parry the green ones and keep parrying them to keep breaking his armor. And it's gonna keep getting the armor down further and further and you're gonna be doing more and more damage until, and you can go negative. And when you get that negative armor, you'll be doing even more damage and you're gonna do that until you're done, okay? So that is the fight in a nutshell. Now, it took me a long time to fight this guy the first time, okay? So you can watch if you want to and just see my learning process and everything. I did a little bit better uh, during the live streams, okay? You know, I kept forgetting the, the um, phase and I'm like, okay, and it tells you what phase you're in. You know, at the bottom right hand, it'll tell you when you go to the next phase, so you'll know. So you don't even have to remember, okay, wait, what, what was the percentage health? It'll tell you when you get to the next phase, and it'll tell you what phase you're in, okay? Um, but here I am learning, and see, he knocked me, and he's all the way into the, yeah, I was in the corner, so yeah, I was too close, and I just couldn't get that timing. Uh, but I got much better with Shang-Chi. I did. Much later. Um, but by far, the best was using Scorpion on that path where he healed up. Because it was crazy. All right, you see here, I'm in that final phase. And um, I think, no, 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 I'm not in the final phase, sorry. Uh, I'm far from the final phase. Uh, but I got the um, heavy or the parry and broke the armor fired my special three and now i'm just going yeah shang chi is great for this boss uh i i want to i think my favorites are kingpin shang chi and um valkyrie those are my favorites of the three i probably am gonna say kingpin is the safest but shang chi is more fun I actually had more fun with Shang-Chi. 
than uh, Kingpin. But Kingpin is definitely safer. Okay. Uh, but anyway, that is going to do it, guys, for me. Uh, I'm going to let you guys uh, continue on. You've got another almost 20 minutes of this fight. I'm sorry, but I had to fight it. Okay. But later on, I did not take quite that long. But it's a fun fight. It actually is a fun fight. I had a lot of issues with my inputs. Uh, and on the live stream, you'll see, you know, where I call it out every once in a while. But, you know, learning the fight and dealing with input issues. So there were times where I messed up, forgot what phase, forgot what I was supposed to do, was trying to do the wrong thing, you know, special into them when I was supposed to knock them down, things like that. Um, that happened quite often, okay, in this first fight especially. All right, so anyway, watch, uh, enjoy the rest of it, take care, and you all have a blessed day. Thank <laughs> you.